here it is. That's the uh, 200 pound with 3,000 yard spool on an 80 International. Oh yeah, let's get this party started. What's up guys, this is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Zertucci here. We've got a, another video today. It's about the extreme braid that we have gotten in from a customer. It's the 12 strand, 200 pound, 3,000 yards. He wants it on his international VSW. Um, we've done it before with other um, reels with the 200 pound test, but we have not done it on an international. So now we're going to try it. Can't wait to check this out. See how it goes. International, they were originally spooled up by somebody that hand cranked it on. They have sent it to us so we can strip it down and mark the braid every 250 yards. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a black magic marker to do that every 250. But also, too, since we are using a spooling machine, it will give the customer a little bit better idea of how much yards should actually be on this reel. And as you can tell, there's already a gap already in here but what i'm also doing is showing what it looked like before we re-spooled just this line and before i even splice into the other before i splice into the rest of the line we'll see how that looks and then we're going to show how much more line we can get on there at this if we were to go from here i would think about 400 yards but let's find out and the other thing was originally i would have the recorder here on the same table but it would vibrate a lot when we're uh, spooling up reels so I'm trying to make it a little bit easier so y'all can get an actual idea of what I'm actually doing here. So Spider-Man eat your heart out because I know y'all been watching my other videos where the lines back and forth and stuff like that. Yeah we actually still control that. Our first step will be to download the spool. This is probably why the reason was the customer was talking about he wasn't getting enough drag on there. This is what happens when you don't have enough wraps on your spool. I don't know if y'all can see. Let me try to pull that up to you. But right there, they put it off to the side. And you can see it's moving. The spool is moving. So we'll fix that. And that's the other thing with uh, hollow core braids is what I really like. The, uh, the knot is not permanent. You can actually, if you spend a little time in doing it, you can undo your knot. Uh, and that way you save a little bit of line. You know, it doesn't seem like much, but when you cut your line and cut your line and cut your line and waste a lot of money doing so, it adds up very quickly. And that's kind of one of the reasons why I have fallen in love with the Jerry Brown or the hollow core braids. And again, like we said, uh, We've got the extreme braid in house. I've just been so busy with uh, spooling up the other reels, and since we do supply a bunch of other tackle shops with our tackle, we're kind of in demand right now, which is a good thing. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, gotta thank the man upstairs every day, you know. And this, from what I understand, all this braid on here is the extreme braid, and that's one of the other checks I was going to do when I do my comparison of side by side is being able to tie a knot, have it fully locked down and be able to undo it. As you can see there, I was able to undo it, which is a good plus right there. So another tap mark for extreme braid like that.
All right, guys. What I've done is I've done my knot to the spool right here. And what I want to try and do is show y'all how, once it's locked in, how it actually holds. Now, earlier, I was spinning the spool just by turning the crank. Now, what I'm going to do is, you can see the line's loose on there, but this shows you how well this knot works. And I've already done a video on how to tie this to your spool, if y'all want to choke, scope that out. And right now, see how it's already gripping the spool? And if you look close, I'm pulling the spool back just by hand by using the knot. See, I'm turning it, and as you can tell, that was a lot of pressure on my hand. See the line come across there and right here, there. If I would have pulled any more, it would definitely cut into my hand. But, or that will show you exactly why that other knot failed at the very beginning. It was not gripping the spool. So, get it on. Oh, real quick. With the amount of line I've already pulled off, I've already pulled off five yards, and that's including the knot here and all the line over here on the floor. I'm off by a yard, but that's 251 yards right there. And that's the way the spool is looking. Still looking mighty, mighty empty. I need to get a lot more line on there. dry now, which is good.
found some kind of fray there. You can see it? Yeah, right there. I'm going to inspect it a little bit. It may be just extra strands, but if it starts to pull on the excess braid, we'll know. The girl showed up. What's up, Mama? Say hi. <laughs> Look, look, it's happy feet. Oh, yeah, forgot what I was doing there for a second. The water threw me off. Gatorade? Yeah. Well, ask your uncle. He can get it for you. Just had to stop again. Found another notch or something in the line. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that out. I don't like leaving them there because maybe it can act like a fly or something that the Spanish mackerel or bluefish would wanna hit. So I wanna make sure to pull all that out. These were a bit longer. I thought they were going to slip right out, but they don't. There you go. I don't know if y'all can see that. There we go. Another one right there. Right there. Now you can see it really well. That notch right there is not good. If you're sliding in between something or uh, two sharp edges, that will catch and will cut you off right there. So you want to replace all those as much as possible.
there first trip, second trip, third trip. And hey, man, if I'm gonna have to watch that, see how, what the outcome is, because I'm curious too. Yeah, and, and you know, it, it may show its true colors real quick. It may not. It may take a little while, but even at the same time, if it takes me, you know, if it goes a distance of like 10 trips already, that should be enough proof for me. You know, that, if I can get 10, 10 damn good trips out of it, or not getting cut off, not this, not that, or by catching my fish, that's enough proof for me to drop down. You know what I mean? So. You still get the same capacity. But yeah, that's the big thing right there, line capacity. Am I gonna still get that, or am I gonna that's lose thing, that? Yeah, you know? the Jerry Brown, from what I understand, is a little bit it's thinner, right? Yeah. yeah. So we're now at where is this focus? 884 yards of the reel that we originally pulled out. And as you remember, it was real bumpy and it was a lot further up on the spool, but now we've exposed about a quarter inch of the spool. So now let's see how much of the new line we can get on there. Go from there. The only bad thing is the spool that has been sent to me is extremely loose. Mm. So what I'm gonna have to do is download it from the big spool to a regular spool before I can upload it to this spool. Fun, fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so that spool was extremely loose. I had to move it over to a smaller spool to get it on here so it's nice and packed because if I would have tried to put pressure on the spool to stop it from the inside out, it would have buried itself and the line would have broke off or cut off and we would have lost all the other braid because trying to find the cut end is impossible. So trust me, I've tried. I've tried. <laughs> so we're gonna splice in. We're at 885 yards right now and we're gonna go from there. And this is the 200 pound extreme braid. This is an international, and with internationals, they have a flat bar here. So I'm limited on how far I can overspool the reel, but as you can tell, I've left a little bit of gaps, but that's not too bad. Um, but we're sitting at 1,250 yards. However, we forgot that we had already backtracked and taken off 250 because we overspooled it for the 500 yard mark. So because of that, we backtracked and are missing 250 yards off that line, off that line total. So in reality, we actually have 1,500 yards of 200-pound extreme. 